Well everyone, as promised, here's a video on how to identify your turbo fighter, super fighter, robot sergeant, and whatever else you want. So I'll go ahead and real quick and explain how this basically works. If you guys know, back in 2002, these boxes did not exist. These boxes are have existed ever since Mars existed, which was around 2005. When these things got created for the first time, they rebranded the original boxes, which, of course, were much more different, because as I've said before, Happy Kid has had a lot of layers, had has had a lot of versions that were like, you know, under the line Kid Connection, under another bunch of lines, you know, for Walmart, for Target, for whatever you, you imagine. So, you know, it's not a st it was not really a stable design. In fact, the robots were not even addressed, well, some of them were not even addressed on, like, directly to Happy Kid. I mean, yeah, they had the Happy Kid logo and everything, but they didn't say it in the box. I'll go ahead and explain that real quick. So, basically, this whole... Mars, Turbo Fighter, you know, whatever. It started on 2005. All of these orange boxes, which I call the post-apocalypse box. And you're going to be like, why do you call it like that? If you see the back of the box, which is, this is probably the best example I have. It's basically a post-apocalyptic um, background. And this is basically what I think all of them have. Extreme Fighters, Turbo Fighters, Super Fighters, Tata Fighters, whatever. Yeah, they, they have that. Um, ignore that box because that's a fake ones box. I just put that to conserve it better. But now, how can you tell when were these made and which ones are the originals? Well, it's actually quite simple. In Turbo Fighters, the original one is a 2005 Turbo Fighter, which is in fact this one. As I've said, this is the very first generation made. Now, how can you tell this is the very first gen made? Well, in this one, there's not really that much, but there's a bunch of other things that you can actually see on further ones. By example, this one, I can tell it's one of the older ones because it actually has a CE logo type. Now, they took this feature out back in 2008 or 2009 because back then, these robots used to have a CE logo type on the very back of the cover, and if you guys know, most of the turbo fighters usually have a trash can, just this one, and they have engraved numbers and the CE is on the foot. So the reason to know if it's before 2008 or 2009, it's mainly because it has the CE on the back. That's why there's two robots. That's why I know that this is these are not the generation of my robot sergeant because, well, aside from that, there's many other differences that I got to point out still. Like for instance, as I've said before, ro this robot sergeant doesn't have it either. And this is the, I think, yeah, this is the second generation of the robot sergeant because there's actually four generations of sergeant. You're going to be like, what, four generations? Yeah, you really, there's not really that much of a difference in between the third generation and the second generation. But, you know, like, from the outside, you see no differences besides the CE because, as I've said before, this is my 2009 Robot Sergeant. As you guys can see, there's no CE on the back, but the CE and the engraved numbers are in one of the feet. That's the way to, you know, find it out. Now, the board is different too. The inside, of course, the board is actually different, and this one has more of a square pattern, just like the 2010 Super Fighter, which is right here this one and another thing is that as i've said before there's four generations which are those four generations the first generation was actually a 2002 robot sergeant it was made in 2002 originally and it came in a metallic blue and a metallic red just like some 2002 super fighters it actually came with that line so that is like the very first line of cybertronics um like Cybertronics uh, RC robots. The, the one that came a year before that was Remote Robot Defender. But that falls under the older category of Happy Kid, which were the original Super Fighters, kind of, because that's like a, an abomination type robot. But yeah. 
Anyways, these are around 2000, no, these two are actually around 2006, 2007. This one by its side, it's 2009. It's proof that it's 2009 because the remote of it, which is right now with the older one, actually says 2009. So this one must have been from there. Um, I'm pretty sure it must have been from 2008, 2009. That's like the limit. Now, judging by that the remote actually says that, Either it was some sort of old stock remote, or I don't know. But yeah, this is a 2009. Well, I'll just say this is a 2009 robot sergeant. Now, another another thing. One thing you'll never see is a turbo fighter. You know, like the last turbo fighter they made, the one that doesn't have a light up gun, which I'm basically saying this one. You'll never see one of these with a plastic pinion gear for the motor because this one was made from 2011 to above so from 2010 they've actually changed the pinions to a gummy pinion instead of a plastic pinion i mean just 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 check this out this is robot sergeant from 2009 this is super fighter from 2010 the board on this one says 2010 from a year to another one they made a huge change on everything so Basically, the whole line would go like this. All of the robots I have the CE on the back are from 2002 to 2005, 6, or mostly 7. 7 or 8 would be at least the, uh, the, the limit, you know? So let's just say that not all of the super fighters that you know about are the same generation or, or you know, or they were actually... You know, they stopped production when the, the newer turbo fighters came in because they were still pr being produced along them. That's why. Well, that and the fact that basically, it, here's where I start getting confused. Super fighters were literally the most produced robot out of all of these motherfuckers. That's why they are so easy to find. Because, of course, this is the one I found here in Argentina. It's a super fighter. This is the one that Kevin bought off Drayton and I turned into a turbo fighter. Wrong. Big mistake. Because it is actually a 2006 or 7 super fighter. I kind of fucked up on that. I gotta re... Uh, I still gotta get a third gen turbo fighter. So that... This was a bad choice. This... Like, not the robot, but the modification was a bad choice. Bad Ivan. No. This is another super fighter, but... With the particularity, he doesn't have that. So this one must have been 2009 with Robot Sergeant. Yeah, so these two must have been around the same year. This, as I've said before, is the 2005 one. Now, I don't know if the original Robot Sergeant, like not the 2002, but this one, if it did come out in 2005. It would make a little sense, you know, if it was 2005. But I'm just giving it an extra year because I really don't know. I have not, I'm not certainly sure on what is the year. I know this one is 2005. That's a, a proved fact, okay? Of course, <laughs> I'll say this, Happy Kid tends to have a delay on, on putting the robots for sale. So that's why some people say, yeah, I started seeing this one in 2007. But let me tell you, this is the very first robot out of the whole bunch that actually had the 2005 stamp on the crotch. Because you see these robots and they have a 2005 stamp. This was the very first one to have it, okay? After that, all of the others do have it. Even Robot Sergeant, okay? And it's actually checked. This one, this one is either from 2005 or prior to that. Because King Titan is actually older and it has the 2004 stamp. No, the 2002 stamp. Same with the original Robot Sergeant. Those are actually older. So they did kind of update their things, but just by, I don't know, two to three years. It's not really that much of a delay they have, if you think about it. But anyways, all of these, of course, have the 2005 stamp, which is kind of ridiculous because, of course, this is literally 2010. This one must have been 2006 or so or seven, I guess, because this is the... Yeah, this is the... <laughs> One of my pretty, I don't know why, one of my favorite ones, just because of the fact that it's, uh, it's, it's the very first one that I changed the speaker on it. It sounds pretty good. Um, this one, of course, 2009 with this one, and this one, 2010. 2010 with 2011. So these two are what we call the newest gen. 
of the Turbo Fighters and probably the very last one made. Because these two are actually very, very identical. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I think most of them are, but mechanically and everything, they're almost identical. Now, this one has some sort of design flaws. Like, by example, that the button's darker, but that's just this one. It's not really... It really has nothing to do. Um, and as I've said before, this one actually came after this Turbo Fighter. So let's just say that when this one... When this one got somewhat discontinued, this one took its place. And until then, until 2010, let's just say, they still produced them. Yeah? So let's just say that the whole timeline into these particular robots is, or would be like this. First out of all, Turbo Fighter. Of course, it's a, it's a, it's a definite fact. Then, from one to two years after, we have the Robot Sergeant and the other, the Super Fighter, which... Ignore the fact this is a Turbo Fighter, because that's a chip that I changed, as I've said before. Then you have 2000 and, you know, 7, 8, 9, maybe. No, 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 2009, around there, you have these two. The Super Fighter that I got in lot with this one, thanks to Josh, and the one that I bought in 2012. And then you have 2010 and 2011. So this is the whole timeline on how these robots were sold. And as I've said before, there's a lot of things you'll never see on these robots, okay? And I am somewhat convinced that the new generation robot sergeant that has a black body actually has a gummy gear inside. So what, what is the thing you will never see? It's pretty simple. You will never see a first-gen Turbo Fighter with a gummy gear or without the CE logo type on the back. That's one thing you'll never see. You will never see a Robot Sergeant from 2002 to 2009 with a gummy gear. That is something you cannot see. Now, keep in mind, this one does have a gummy gear because it's an exception. I changed the whole gearbox. It's a, it has a gearbox of, of a 2011 Turbo Fighter. Another thing you'll never, never see is a turbo fighter with a plastic gear. Like, one of these turbo fighters with a plastic motor shaft gear. Because, again, these were made a year after they started changing the, the damn gears. So, I guess there you have it. I mean, those are all the things that I know about turbos and super fighters and sergeants for now. I mean, as I've said before, I'm pretty sure that the very last robot sergeant they made has a gummy gear. While King Titan and all the robot sergeants they made have plastic ones. While King Titan, the first generation and the second generation of robot sergeant have the CE on the back. So let's just say that this whole CE on the back or on the foot, basically, it somehow fucked me up because I was like, okay, everything is just, you know, the robots are identical. So that's why I did not know and I turned that super fighter into a turbo fighter bad bad just fucking bad that was terrible i shouldn't have done that because it just it just doesn't work like that but yeah you get the point so i guess that's everything for the video so um just a little summary if you guys are a little dizzy on this if it has the ce logo type on the back and not on the foot I mean, yeah, this, this logo type, if you guys still want to see it again. If it has the CE on the back, and it's a Turbo Fighter or a Robot Sergeant, it's from 2005 to 2008. Okay? And if it doesn't have the CE logo type on the back, but yet you know it has a plastic gear, which is the, the question of these two, these two are 2009, so that's 2009. Or we can say late 2008 or, you know, the whole 2009 year. And if you have a pretty fucking silent Super Fighter or Turbo Fighter, or let's just say the last Turbo Fighter that they made that actually has a red and a blue screen, you know that is a third gen of the, uh, you know, the, the last one they made. So it will not have the CE on the back and it will have it in the foot, just like the 2010 one. So... It's, pretty, it's a bunch of pretty interesting changes. I'll say that. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with these uh, predictions, which turn out to be some sort of reality on these robots. 
And yeah, I guess that's everything for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys got informed about this and not say that that a turbo fighter from 2011 is fucking 2005 for fuck's sake. I've seen that a million times. I mean, I know it has it in the crotch and everything, but for fuck's sake. Anyway, thank you for watching.